Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and this is the third video in the Django URL Shortener series. So in this video, I will be showing you how to display a basic HTML page to the user. So let's get started. Okay, so right now the first thing we will need to do is to go into views.py inside the URL short app. Open this, and you see that there is already a line here that says from Django.shortcuts import render. So right here, we need to create views. And a view is basically a function that returns an HTML page, which will be shown to the user. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a function, and we're going to call it home. So this is just going to be a basic HTML page that says hello world on it. So to do that, we'll just need to define a function. So def home. And this function takes in the argument of the request. So a request here could be a get or post request, which I will explain in a later tutorial. So we've created the function declaration, and now we need to add a line in here. So the line we're going to add is return, because we're going to return an HTML page. Render, we need to pass in request. To this function and we're going to pass in the name of our html file that we will create and i'm just going to call this home.html so before we can add any html files we will need to modify settings.py so let's open this file up and we'll need to just scroll down a bit until we find this ders list right here which is in the templates and we just need to enter os.path.join and then in parentheses base underscore dir uh, comma templates. And base dir is this directory right here, which is already defined when you open the settings.py file. So now once we've done that, we can just create a new directory inside our SRC folder. And we need to call that templates. And within templates, we will need to add another file. And I'm going to call this home.html, like we have in our views right here. So inside home.html, well, let's just generate the basic HTML boilerplate that VS Code provides. So we just need to enter an exclamation point, click Enter, and it should just automatically populate all this in for you. In this title section, I'm just going to type in hello world. And in the body section, I want to create h1 tags, hello world. So now when we display this page later on, we will see the title of the web page would be hello world. And it, there will be a uh, big text on the top left of the screen that also says hello world. So now that we've finished configuring our HTML file, we will need to figure out a way to trigger this function. So the way we do that is using URL patterns. So right here, what you'll need to do is to open up the URLs.py file inside the app directory. And once you've done that, you will see a file that looks something like this. Right here, there are two import statements, one importing admin and one importing the pass function, which we're using right here. And so this is, this is the string that actually matters. So right here, what this thing says is when we go to the local host, slash admin, it will take us to admin.site.urls, which is basically the admin page in Django. So to run the server, again, we'll need to do python manage.py run server. And right now we'll see an error because we haven't imported OS in settings.py. So we'll just need to go over to settings.py and under this from path lib import path, we need to, need to add a new line, and right here we'll need to type in import OS. So now that we've done that, we just need to enter one more command, which is py, python manage.py migrate, click enter, and it will apply all the migrations. I'll explain to you what a migration is in a future tutorial, but right now just keep in mind that we just have to run this command. So now we can do python manage.py run server again. And we can go to this site. So Alt and click. 
open up the browser and if we go to slash admin you can see that there is an admin login page so here we would have a login and password to enter in here and i will explain how to do this in a later tutorial but so now what we will need to do is to figure out a way to trigger that views uh, dot home function. So to do that, we will need to import another module right here. So next to path, we'll just need to import the include module from django.urls. And now we just need to add a new value to this list. So path. And right here, we'll just have empty quotation marks, comma, include url oh wait actually you need to open quotation marks and in here we'll need to type in url short dot urls so now once we've done that we just need to add a comma on the end of this and we can see what the error is so right here if we scroll up you can see that it says there is no module named url short dot urls so if we look in URL short, we see that there is no URL, uh, urls.py file. So we need to create one. So to do that, we just need to click new file and type in urls.py. Click enter and we will have a blank Python file. So we can copy some of these file paths from in here. Copy that, paste it right into this urls.py file inside the URL short directory. We, need, we can remove this include, and we can also remove the include URL short.urls thing, as well as this admin. So right now we'll only have one page. We'll add more in the future. So now what we will need to do is, so when we go to the root directory of our website, we will need it to trigger this home function in views. And to do that, we'll just need to type in from, views from dot views import home and after this what we will need to do is type in home right here and that should be it so now let's go to the root directory of our website so if we remove all this stuff from the url click enter we see hello world and hello world up here as well. And that's exactly what we had put into our HTML file. So once you see hello world on your HTML page, that is the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.